Today we're going to learn about valence shell electron pair repulsion. And you might be thinking, what the heck? Well, let's learn about it. And we're going to start out by talking about the molecule methane, CH4. Electron configuration of carbon and hydrogen are shown right there. Carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, four valence electrons. Hydrogen is 1s1, one valence electron, but of course there's four hydrogens in, in methane. So right underneath that, I have drawn the Lewis structure for methane. And notice there's no lone pairs. There's four bonds. Each bond has got, of course, two electrons in it. Now, let's talk about the electron structure and then the molecular structure. And it turns out that um, the whole deal with valence shell electron pair repulsion is that those bonds like to get as far away from each other as possible because they're made of electrons. They repel each other. So they arrange themselves around that central methane in a geometry such that they are, they maximize the distance away from each other. And it turns out that geometry is called tetrahedral. I'm going to show that to you right here. This molecule right here, can you see that? It is methane. It's a ball and stick model of methane, and it's a tetrahedron. I'm going to hold it still like that so you can see it's got kind of like three pointing down and one pointing straight up. You can rotate around. It's very symmetric. The interesting thing about that is that you might think that you could take uh, a central molecule and lay it flat like that Lewis diagram and, and arrange the hydrogens around it and maximize the distance between those bonds, but it's not true. This is the shape that maximizes the distance, tetrahedron. So the electron structure, because there's four bonds and four pairs of electrons, no lone electron pairs, electron structure is tetrahedral, the molecular structure is tetrahedral.